hi. Weird intro, I know you're not used to seeing me like this. The thing is, I was recording my Shop My Stash video and you, I know you guys love these. These are like my, most of you guys love them. Love, 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 love them. And now I was about to edit and the audio is horrendous. I am ordering a new microphone today or tomorrow. I soon anyway but the thing is that i was fixing it to see if it was you know like i had connected it correctly and for some reason the audio is horrendous i can i can just play you a little clip if you don't believe me here's the clip it's time for another shop my stash and i gotta say palette in my entire collection um, I got a little bit more pan in these two shades. It's horrible, I know. But luckily, the audio is great for the rest of the video. It's not great because this microphone kind of sucks, but it is okay for the rest of the video. And that is why I kind of wanted to uh, upload this video anyway, but it's not gonna have like a recap and like how this month went and all of the looks I can pop on all of the looks right here and then like soon and then you can just skip forward if you don't want to see them i can shorten them down a little bit in case you just wanted to see them but if you want to see them full fully you can just go to my instagram don't need someone to save me no and don't come running and blame me from miles away i can tell there's something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk i think you said enough you said you love for me something brand new you said this is something you would never do so i thought that i would just let you guys know how it's going and uh, why this video is a little bit strange so at least you have this video because i really wanted to upload it because i love these videos and it's not gonna be the same thing if i put all of my makeup back and then redo it because i know that i will <laughs> select other products than i did this time around so we're just gonna do it and here's the video and by the way you're gonna see me in the end as well because i forgot to show you guys a product so i will show you guys that in the end but here's the video if you think that this drawer looks different, it is because it is. So I moved down my powders and we we have, how many now? we have concealers, primers, foundation ones. I did get a lot of new makeup, but I got it from like subscribers. So I've gotten like three or four subscriber gifts. And then I have a little, um, you know shop with me would look fantastic but i'm gonna do it in a different way so that's where the ysl powder comes from and i will talk a little bit more about that in a future video but that's not what we're here for oh by the way i moved down my powders because oh it just got too much in the other drawer and it just freaked me out but this is also freaking me out okay great anyway what do we want to take this time for primers so here we have our primers Let's just rush. I think I'm gonna take my Poppy Brown and my LMS. Or maybe should we take. I think I'm gonna take this instead of the LMS one. I think that they are comparable to each other so i'm gonna take those so maybe i can finish up the milani sometime soon this is also bobby brown just a mini so i'm just gonna wait with that i'm not kidding when i say that the foundations has gotten out of hand this is insane but for this rotation i have been craving like glamorous every day like just glowy beautiful makeup and for that i want to take this dior foundation that i just love 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 and then maybe i could take the ysl <laughs> foundation and mix with a 
like this concealer just so I can get some more use out of it. Or maybe we should take the two face, not the two face one that has way too much coverage. So I'm gonna take these two and then the Dior, maybe we wanna take another one. Maybe I wanna take this one as well just to have a little bit of like a lighter coverage some days and then I will get some extra use out of this as well, which is great. I'm just gonna say it once again for all the people in the back, this is the YSL foundation oh my god i'm so silly uh, or super funny mm -hmm. let's take the woke concealer from uma i can't say that uma uh. this one has been very needed so i'm gonna take that just to like color correct let's take the nude sticks uh concealer as well for powders i this i just i don't know why i put this one back this one i got one or two months ago um not one month ago i got it over two months ago because i remember that i haven't bought any makeup this year except for like three liquid eyeshadows from beauty bay um so i got this powder from mac because i saw someone use it under their eyes and it just looked a bit beautiful and I have been using it ever since under my eyes, but I never feature it and I never put it back. So I'm just gonna show you guys that I have and use it. And then I wanna take the OYSL powder. This is the Souffle Picard! Souffle Picard! <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> and this is the shade Rose, I think. Can we see? Well, it is the shade Rose anyway. It has a little bit of sparkle to it. Mm-hmm, interesting, I know. But that's gonna wrap up this drawer. So we're just gonna move on. Bronzer and blush drawer. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to show you my milk bronzer. I know you guys are like <laughs> in my face and in my DMs all the time about this. Like, how is it going? And it's going well. As you can see, this is all we have left. So as you can see, so on the side here, we just have plastic and then this is, is what it looks like in the inside. So not much left in it, but I'm gonna take it for this time as well so that, I, so, that I, so that we can use it up. And then I'm gonna take this one from NARS or NASH as my mother says. This is the NARS Matte Bronzer in the shade Valarta. Valarta. I say Valarta. It's the same way with like some makeup. I just love to change how you say it a little bit. Like, do you remember Makeup Geeks Americano? I love to say Americano. And then this blush from Milk is like Rally. It's like Raleigh, perhaps. I don't know. Can Ungeven hold a shift? This one I got from <laughs> one of my subscribers that's like crazy. You should have seen the package I got from her. You would have screamed. I screamed many, many times. Like NARS, Charlotte Tilbury, Hourglass, Pat McGrath. Insane. Um, she must have hit her head or something. <laughs> oh, She's a crazy makeup lady. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so thankful. But I got this and it's a lot of fun because I've actually wanted to try. Ugh. I've wanted to try NARS in the shade uh, Orgasm and Laguna and now I can. So here we have them. They're like cute little eyeshadows. Um, but I am so intrigued to tr 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 try to test these out. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to do so. so this one is keeping, or I'm keeping this one in. And just for the packaging alone, it's like beautiful. I love NARS packaging. They're so easy, luxurious and all of that. Beautiful. This one I'm gonna toss now. Is that all the bronzers we're gonna take? Let me look at this hourglass. I wanna take this one as well because I wanna see what the hype is about. I tested this in one of my videos that I can link in the corner where I tested out like some Pat McGrath as well. But I'm mostly interested in this. Sige. Nay. 
Did you know that I heard that like 80% of all the dogs think that their name is No or Nay in Swedish? I think he knows that his name is Sigge. We have two powder blushes. Now we want to take, like I just, which one is it? I just loved this one, Naughty and Spice. Like come the freak on, come, come the freak on. This shade is just like perfect for a blush. It's just the most beautiful blush in the entire world from Nude Sticks, Naughty and Spice. So that one we wanna have in. Maybe we wanna have Cherry Blossom Babe as well. You guys know I love my little pink ones. So this is a little bit more pink and it is also in the glossy shade. As you can see, do you see how much I've used it of this? <laughs> so proud of myself. Let's take another one. Uh, we want to take Perk from Milk so we can have a little bit of a peachier option. This is like a peachy pink, but it's also a lot sheerer. As you can see, it's obviously sheerer than the other ones, but it's also sheerer in general from like Milk Makeup uh, blushes. Um, and I gotta say, I enjoy it. So that one. Is staying in. <laughs> so here we have some highlighters and I have so many highlights I want to use this time so it's gonna be hard. I need to smell the ABH ones to see if they are. This is like older than the Gleam Glow Kid and this one doesn't smell. No, than the Dream Glow Kid. It feels insane. Oh my God, my neighbor is smoking crack. No, <laughs> weed. <laughs> ah, she doesn't, she thinks that no one knows. She actually told me when we were in the elevator together, she was like, if you ever smell something from my apartment, I, I grow a lot of like cucumbers and vegetables and whatnot. So sometimes it can smell a little bit. So I take shaving cream and just spritz it in front of my door. And I was like, oh my God, do you think I'm that stupid? You are smoking marijuana. This smells great as well. I just need to smell this one as well and just see. No, they smell great. Good, because the other one just smelled horrible, so maybe it's something in the formula. No idea. Anyway, first and foremost, let's pick out a cream. Am I stupid? Are these the only two creams I have? Where is mine uh, from Elamasca? I've been super inspired to use that, but okay like I don't have it. Let's swatch this. This is from Colourpop in the shade Bullseye. It looks a little bit dark, but I remember that if you like shared it out a little bit, it looked great on the skin. So I'm actually gonna take this because it is very beautiful and it's not like dewy and oily. It's just leaving this beautiful glow that you can even see on the screen, which is just perfect. And everything I wanted this time around, I'm doing this, I don't know why. <laughs> and then we might wanna take Ray Rider from Kaleidos. It's been a while since I used her. I've been using my favorite, which is this one, Diamond Dasher. Oh, she's just so pretty. Okay, Ray Rider. And then I want to take one of my Dior palettes. I'm sorry about my outfit. I've been wearing this. You can't even see it. I've been wearing this just to be outside. I'm not going to apologize for my shirt. What am I doing? It goes against everything I believe in. So strange. But I do apologize for my nails though. This Dior highlight is incredible. Just incredible. So we want to use her. But I was thinking, yes, maybe we could take this because I do believe I can finish, like I know I can finish this one. And why were I going, why was I going to put this back? This is Flexitarian. I think I'm gonna take this just like an inner corner highlight. I love this as an inner corner highlight, but I don't really love it on my skin. I think it is a little bit too much and a little bit too pale. 
but inner corner highlight, beautiful. Pigment Roar! I can't even describe the joy I feel when I open this one up. It's just amazing. Uh, as you can see, I have a new Tom Ford, and then I also have this one from Nude Sticks. I'm just gonna swatch them for you guys. For you guys. Uh, this is Nude Sticks Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Angel, 99% Angel. Here you are. I think that this is just like a beautiful basic color because when I was ordering these, um, you know, I have this like gift card where, or you guys know, I have this thing where I can pick out some products at Look Fantastic's website and then I can talk about them and everything. Uh, but I have this idea. I think that this would work great as a highlight as well. But once again, I have this idea in my head where I see myself being this like easy uh, kind of model-esque look when I'm in fact not. So I also had to pick up this because you, you, you know, I cannot put my eyeshadows or makeup down when I've started to use it. I wanna be one of these people to, that just puts like three products on their face, but I cannot stop. So uh, anyway, I picked up this. This is the shade Naked Bronze and on the downside or here, you have this cream eyeshadow, which is just stunning. I can link it down below. Uh, you can purchase this cream eyeshadow only if you wanted to, like it's a single tub with just this cream eyeshadow. Looks like that. It's like a cool toned brown. It's a little bit taupe, but it still has a little bit of golden shifts to it, which I just think is beautiful. And then you have this topper, on the top and then you just take this and then you can apply it on top of this as you can see it just brings the shimmer oh, so beautiful and then it just looks like that I have now I had a little bit of this bronzy shade on let me give it a proper swatch here it is so it's just like a sparkle that's just beautiful um, I did record a look using it and that video is not up yet. Don't know when it's gonna co go up, but it's going to go up anyway. So you will see this in a video in case you were interested. Interested. Then I don't know what I wanna use. Like I kind of, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take this boring shade as well because I have some, some products coming in from Look Fantastic. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. And this is the Beauty Bay Liquid Eyeshadow. This is my favorite. This is the shade Precious Topaz. And I know it's gonna go beautiful with at least one of the palettes I'm going to pick out. So I think I'm just gonna stay there. Some of you guys wanted to see when I picked out lip products. In my personal opinion, I just find it to be super boring to see when other people pick out lip products, but that's just my opinion. If you like it, then I will do it. If you don't like it, I won't do it. But, okay, I'm gonna pick out nudes. <laughs> Cream de Nude from MAC. Yes, disgusting. This is how I'm a loved product looks, at least in my collection. Lip glosses, cannot have too many. I'm actually trying to work on this to use it up. Mm -hmm. Imagine me now sitting very casually, talking to you guys in like a chair, sitting like a man almost, and trying to talk to you guys. But before I used to have like, this thing where I got anxiety if I finished up a product. So I just used them until they were almost empty so that I could keep them in my collection. So my collection could look large. That's not the thing anymore. <laughs> I wanna finish products. So uh, I'm just reaching for the same products or same lippies that I had previously, White Russian and Bestie from Buxom and Colourpop. <sighs> what is this? Myth. I've been searching for myth, and here she was. Oh my god, it's like five different pro five different shades into one. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oops, this is from Nude Sticks, and this is the shade Mystic. So I got a little bit of anxiety of how I showed you Mystic. So 
or myth, I mean, from MAC. So here she is, all cleaned out. Remember, wasn't this a beautiful shade? This is Angel Food Cake. Let's see. Oh, no. I want like this kind of nude. So I'm gonna take this from Iconic. We're not gonna take that. Like, I just want nudes, nudie nudes. These two are very beautiful together. Sand and Knock on Woods, Knock on Wood from Dose of Color. Dose of Color. This I don't even want to use because I feel so fucking. I lost the twist with Juvia's Plays. They fucked up. PayPal, fuck you. I'm never going to use you again. So I don't even want to use my Juvia's Place products. I just want to like declutter everything. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Dulce Leche from Jouer. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I'm so fucking boring. <laughs> Tiptoe. Tiptoe was kind of cute. We're gonna take her. Ooh, Jouet. No, no. <laughs> Anastasia, sad. This is like Paulina picking out the same color for five minutes. Butter. Butter. Hi, ColourPop Butter. Oh my God, I missed you. Why are you also being discontinued? I forgot about this with these colors. I think that's enough nudes. <laughs> if I want something else, I know where I can find it. So here we have some of my eyeshadows. This, haven't even touched, touched it, touched it. Haven't even touched it. Do you, do you know what I wanna do with it? I wanna just throw it in the garbage and scream at it like, F you. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, I'm not gonna use that, but this one. I know I said I wanted like super neutral, boring makeup, but that's kind of one angle I wanna go. But then I also wanna use this. I've been seeing a girl that I follow on Instagram that is like a panning channel, whatever. And she's too large to be on camera, but, and she's using this all the freaking time, like all the freaking time. And I have loved every single look that I've done with this, except one that I wiped down and did another look, and I loved that look. So I just want to use this, and I want to do some beautiful pink looks, and just, oh, yes, yes. One of my favorite palettes, so definitely I want to have her. And then I don't think I want anything else from this drawer, because I remember, like this, I was gifted this, how kind, from one of my subscribers. She had used it very lightly, but because of the fact that Juvia's Place is the way they are, I'm just like, no, no, no. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, mm, okay. We're gonna go upstairs to where I have some other palettes and just talk a little bit there, okay? Siggy's joining me today. Say hey, Siggies. Hey, how do you do shot? He has been in the shower. Yo. So now he's all clean. We took a long, long walk this morning and he was very, very dirty, but now he's all clean again. Like a good little boy. Boop. <laughs> I showed you him because here he is. Here's my palette. This is probably not a good angle, but who cares? So let's just get two palettes out of the way. This palette was sent to me in PR. Here you are. This is the Club Neb Nebula, Nebu Nebula, Nebula palette uh, from Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist. 
which is a fellow Swede. I think this palette is beautiful. I think she did a great job of combining shades and like different color combinations. And she also laid them out very easily so that, you know, if you are not that great with colors or eyeshadows, it's very easy to see what you can do when like color match. Obviously you can blend from everything, um, but I think it's easy to for her just or I think it's easy for someone that doesn't know just to use these shades or just this row or this row. So I think she did a great job with that and I definitely want to use this and um, yeah, get to know this palette a little bit more. I've only used it once because I couldn't restrain myself. <laughs> I thought it was so pretty. So a huge congratulations to her. Very, very fun. And then this is a palette I was sent by one of my subscribers. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's the Summer in Saint-Tropez, or Saint-Tropez, I don't know how to say. This is what it looks like. So I think it's very, very beautiful, and you can do some neutral looks with this. I find it to be a little bit close to the Nick Tutorials palette when it comes to some color combinations you can do. Oh my God, it's so light. I think this might be a little bit better, so, um, yeah, I definitely want to get to know this palette a little bit more, but now I only want to take like basic palettes. And I have so many palettes, fuck. Okay, let me just take my palette and we'll use what we'll use and we'll not use what we're not gonna use, okay? So I want to take Soft Clam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Show you guys this in the beginning. I just it has the, the shit that I like for like a super easy glam everyday look and a smoky eye and all of that. Then the color pop, whatever palette. I showed you guys this in like my Valentine and va anti-Valentine palettes and this is just phenomenal. I just, when I, every time I look at it, I was taking photos of it the other day and I was like, I, I, I just need to slam this all over my eyes. Like you can do so many beautiful looks with this as well. So definitely something I want to continue to use. And then I kind of want to get to know this palette a little bit more, which is the 27 palette from Melt. I don't, I'm going to be honest and say that I don't really love the shimmers. Uh, nothing because of the formula. It's just not really my kind of colors, but I do want to get to know the the mattes a little bit more and maybe combine it with some other like pigments and everything like that that I have. So we have a bunch of shit to test out. We're going to see how long this rotation is. We never really know. Okay, now I'm back. So I posted a photo on my Instagram and I was so excited to test out not to test out because this is not a new product, but I was so excited to use one of my Kaleidos palettes and that is my favorite from them and that is the Astro Pink. So I just wanted to show you guys because when I was done recording, I was like, oh, I forgot that one and I had planned to pick it out. So there's a bunch of palettes uh, this time around and to be completely honest, all I want to do is like a brown, smoky, or just neutral eye. So I think it's going to be a lot of neutrals this time around, but hopefully you're here for it. I have some other pigments that I'm going to put in, but you're going to see more of that soon. Uh, or on my Instagram if you don't follow me there. Kaleidos Astro Pink. Hopefully there's a restock soon. I know you guys said that it was out of stock. But if it's not, these shadows aren't that unique. It's this shade. And if you have the Frenication palette from Dose of Colors, maybe you can use that. Or maybe a single or something. Or just search your channels. <laughs> no. Search your uh, stashes and see if you can find a similar palette. And then these, as I said, they're not unique. So you can just try and dupe it with your own collection because... It's great quality, but still, like, you don't you don't need to go out and purchase a new palette. So, just wanted to say that. Thank you. Let's continue with the video. If it's not end, then bye. thought I would give you something a little bit more pleasant to look at while I'm talking, but I never really know how long my rotations are going to be. Sometimes they will be for two weeks. Sometimes they will be for four weeks, you know, I never really know because I, I don't plan this shit out, but this is what we're using and I am excited. So if you are excited, give me a little thumbs up. If you like this video, give, if you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. 
Say bye bye, Siggies. Hej då. Åh, Ulle Plutten.